poppin' YouTube, it's your girl Jay, and I'm back with another freaking video. <laughs> Y'all me peanuts though. Yes, this is my snack. But, as you can tell by the title, I will be basically giving you guys pros and cons of living on campus. Preferably, I will be mostly speaking about living on CAU's campus. However, if you're watching this and you go to another school or you're a freshman and you're going to another school, this is still beneficial to you. And just my experience on living on campus and everything. So, if I get into anything, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button and hit the bell that's next to the subscribe button so you can know when I upload. That's how you do that. that. <laughs> no, I look real doll up right now. And not like I'm about to talk about living on campus or anything, but I did not know what to film today. And this was one of the videos that I wanted to film next. So here we are. Let's just get in to the video. So first and foremost, living on campus is not bad as people try to make it seem. Living on campus, like if I list you guys the pros and the cons, the pros will most definitely outweigh the cons. However, everybody is different. Everybody's experience is different. Everybody's life is different. Everybody's finances are different. So, it's however you want to do it. Um, so, let's first start off like freshmen. So, as far as I know, major majority of schools, especially Clark Atlanta, you are required to stay on campus. First, year student, regardless if you're a transfer or if you're a freshman. I believe transfers may can get a wave i don't know but i know that they're they kind of require they're required to stay on campus as well but as a freshman when you're 18 and you just crossed that state and you just graduated high school and you're first like you're going to college like this your first time you most definitely are required to stay on campus staying on campus is not bad i know my freshman year it was a couple freshmen that wasn't staying on campus i don't know how they made that happen they probably got it waived or whatever the case is but to be honest, if you're a freshman, please, please, please stay on campus. I cannot stress enough. Stay on campus your first year. Even if you don't want to do, I would say the first year, the spring semester and the fall semester. But even if you want to um, just stay for the fall for whatever reason and then you want to move off campus. I'm sorry, y'all. And then you want to move off campus, then that's totally up to you that's totally fine but i recommend staying on campus as like as a freshman your first semester and your second semester me personally it just makes the experience way way better like way better you're able to get to classes easily while you're still working around like while you're still figuring out the campus um the calf um i know for clark students you get unlimited at the calf period so you hit that joint up uh, for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and the late night session that we have, yeah. Um, what else? It's just um a lot of stuff be around like the AUC in general, so you it's just easy access. You don't have to keep driving back to campus to go to events. It's easy access. It's easy access. So I recommend staying on campus. You're like as a first year freshman, it's it was totally fine. Now, now let's get into this. This part right here is specifically for Clark Atlanta freshman girl. Incoming freshman at CAU, and you're a girl. It's because I know for the boys, they only got one living spot, which is big with, and that has I'm pretty sure that has like hella hella rooms. I heard so, different girls have five different um freshman dorms at Clark. We have Pfeiffer. Homes, Myrner, Suites 100, and Suites 200. So, um, the big debate for the girls is like, I don't want traditionals. I don't want traditionals. I want to stay in the suites. I want to stay in the suites. So, let me just break that down for you and just let me just tell y'all what was tea, okay? So, First and foremost, stand in I stay in the traditionals. I stay in Myrna Hall. If you watch my 
old college videos from freshman year. I'm sorry, this is so unprofessional. Hmm. And you know that I stayed in Myrna Hall. To me, Myrna Hall was not bad at all. His issue with staying in the traditionals versus the suites is the bathroom. You don't want to share the bathroom with like what um X amount of number number of girls because they ain't in the traditionals because you it's community bathroom. Whereas with the suites, you just share it with your roommate and then the two people on the other side, I believe. So it's just like four people to a bathroom and then versus what 10, 12, maybe 14 people at the most to a bathroom. Because if you do not know the whole floor does not have to share one bathroom. There are two bathrooms on each floor in the traditionals. I know from Myrna it was. I don't know about anybody else, but from Myrna it was. I stayed on the second floor in Myrna. So we had one bathroom on this side, and then we had the other bathroom on this side. It was just split in half. So the girls on this side used that bathroom, the girls on that side used that bathroom. It was, I'm not going to lie, y'all. If I can find pictures from freshman year, it was disgusting. Like... The girls will leave, leave hair, their pads, pee, blood, number two. Like, it was disgusting. It was disgusting. It was hair. It, it was, ugh, like, used to make me throw up for real. I used to bring my little spray bottle in there with me all the time, spray it out, let the water run, and go to the restroom, and then come back, and it'll kind of be, like, you know, disinfect all the germs and stuff. They do have maids and janitors that'll come clean the bathrooms. However, try to keep it clean up after yourself, please. Please, do not do that and try to get a fine and catch everyone else to get a fine. Just, please, just, just keep it cute, y'all. Just keep it cute. Keep it cute. Please don't be dirty. That's literally all I can say. Just please don't be dirty. Um, but like I said, that's probably the only thing. Oh, the other thing with the suites is, um, the other thing with the suites is it's not right next. Like, you know, with your, in traditionals, you're like your roommate's bed and your bed. With the suites, you have your side of the room and then your side of the room and it's divided by a big wall. So, you know, you kind of got your own privacy. Um, I don't like, you know, I can't really speak from my experience as far as the suites because I didn't stay in the suites but you know from what I heard is good or whatever it's okay um they are not with the school they have like their own like little leasing thing that's kind of paired with heritage I'll get into heritage later but that's just kind of how it's paired but if you are an incoming freshman and you're you really mad that you didn't get suites if y'all got your housing time so I'm not sure I didn't talk to any of CAU 24 yet if you also need a big sis, a mentor, don't forget to hit me up because I'm always, I'm always here for the talk, you know? But if you're an incoming freshman girl in SCAU and you're scared, you really don't want the traditionals, it's not going to be that bad. I promise. It's, it's not going to be that bad. It, yes, it has its downfalls. Yes, sweets might be a little bit better, but it's not that bad. To be honest, I'm glad I stayed in the traditionals over the suites because I was able to actually like connect more with my roommate. My roommate, she was from um, Trinidad and she was from, um, she, well, she was staying in New York and she was originally from Trinidad. So it was kind of interesting to kind of like talk to her about like her culture and her food and listen to her, some of her music. So shout out to Alina if you're watching this or if you ever come across this. I really really thought that that was dope like to just have like somebody different it was it just made the experience just better whereas if you're staying in the suites you don't you probably don't really get the chance to connect with your roommate like they maybe may not i don't know i don't know but the big the big debate between suites and traditionals it's not that bad y'all you will not die Yes, it can get disgusting in the bathrooms. Yes, you have a person right next to you. You don't have your own privacy. But it's really, really not that bad. Once you start, like, getting used to it, once you once you get used to it and once you're like, you know, okay, I can do this, and you get to know your roommate and traditionals, you're going to be good. Same for sweets. It's not always um, tip-top in the sweets as well. But like I said, I can't speak on the sweets because I did not stay in the sweets. Or whatever the case is. So yeah, that's just my experience with the traditionals. It wasn't that bad to me. It was just the bathrooms were kind of disgusting. And I was upset about that. And what else I was upset about? 
Nothing. I, I didn't have no problem. I didn't have any problem with my roommate. We had one little issue with the um, air conditioning, but that was it. It was okay. So, yeah. Now, um, moving from freshman to sophomore. Now, if you're a sophomore, um, you can probably stay off campus if you want to. I stayed on campus my sophomore year. I went to Brawley Hall, as you can tell from my video. I went to Brawley Hall, and I absolutely love Brawley Hall, and I'm so mad that it got cut short because of the virus, and we had to come back home. I am so upset. Like, I really, really loved my room. I don't know if I stressed it enough in my hall because I was getting ready to go, but uh, y'all, I really, really love my room. So, now I talked about the freshmen, so now let's get into the big debate as a sophomore between Heritage and Brawley. If you are a sophomore... Staying at Brawley is will not hurt you. Will not hurt you. I know you know you like, oh, I get to get inherited. I get to get inherited. And granted, some sophomores do get inherited. However, it's not that big of an issue. If you if you really just really care about laying your hair somewhere, Brawley is fine, y'all. I really, really love my room. And I probably just saying that because I had a corner room and our living room was huge. We used to have kickbacks in there. Um but it's the same exact thing. The only big difference I can say between Heritage and Brawley is the washers and the dryers. In Brawley, you have to go downstairs to the basement and wash and dry. And sometimes it would, it used to take my money, y'all. I used to be so mad. It used to take my money. And I used to come wash my clothes sometimes. Or I had to go walk to Heritage to one of my other friends room to go wash in there. That's the only thing that I hated about Brawley, just the washing and drying. Other than that, you got a sink. You got a full kitchen. You have your stove. You have your oven. You bring your own microwave. Um, <clears throat> you have a bathroom that you may share with one or two other people. You got your own room. Heritage's room isn't as big either, but, you know, Brawley's is a little bit more small. But you still have your own room, your own privacy. As a sophomore, you know, if you're mad about staying at Brawley, don't be. Even as a junior, don't be. I knew senior. I knew a senior that stayed in the suites once, and I knew a senior that stayed in Brawley once. It's not that bad. As long as you have somewhere to rest your head after classes and somewhere for you to stay, it's not that bad. That's the only big thing I can say about Brawley. It's just the washing and drying. That's the only bad thing I have to say. Other than that, it's cool. I really liked Brawley. I'm mad that it got cut short because I want to throw one more kickback in my um, suite before we left. But that's that. So now, I'm a junior. I will be staying on campus again, okay? Again. Um, I will be staying in Heritage. I'll let you guys see my room, you know, whenever I when we get there. Hopefully, we go back to school in the fall because with all this stuff going on, I don't know. But, you know, y'all know, know I do my dorm tours. Y'all know how we get down over here. You know how I go. So, yeah. But I will be staying in Heritage just because I wanted... I wasn't going to be mad if I had to stay in Brawley again. I honestly wasn't. However, I just really, really wanted Heritage because I wanted to just try Heritage out. Plus, it would have been a bigger space as far as... Like, I'm starting to do YouTube, like, way more often now. So, I just wanted a bigger space than Brawley. Because, as you can see, like, I had my bed in the background. And I didn't really like that. Like, it was just too small for me to film. So, hopefully, it'll be a little bit more bigger in Heritage for me to film. So, I can... We can get the whole shebang. I can't really speak on the boys with Beckwith. You know, if you're a freshman, you stay in Beckwith. Um, the other, the upperclassmen dorms are both co-ed. Heritage and Brawley is both co-ed. The fourth floor in Brawley is co-ed. So, yeah. Um, in Heritage, I don't know how they do, but that's co-ed as well. So, yeah. Um, that's all I have to say about that. Um, also staying on campus, it's, it's really not as bad as people make it seem. Um, on campus... If you're staying on CAU's campus, you have a Walmart right there. You have a wing spot, BTJ Wings. Um, you have the West End Mall. It ain't got too much stuff, but if you need to get something real, real quick, it got like Foot Locker, Jimmy Jazz, um, a little boutique called Sassy's, Journeys in there, um, a little fish place. It's a lot of little stuff. It's a Popeyes around. They just built the Zaxby's over there. So, you know I'm going to be at that Zaxby's. I went to, to that Zaxby's like once before we left. But, y'all know when I come back, baby, Zaxby's on deck. I got tired of Uber Eats. Uber, Uber Eats. I had to Uber Eats my Zaxby's. And I got tired of that. 
Um, what else about staying on campus? Um, like I said, you can hit up the calf whenever you want. Um, classes, you can wake up five minutes before class, probably still make it just depending on where you stay on campus. Um, as far as roommate goes, um, just, you know, just be mindful with roommates. Um, make sure you and your roommate have an understanding of like who stuff and like all of that. Um, I don't have any crazy roommate stories um, so far. My roommates have been good. I will, when I move into Heritage, I will be staying with people I don't know. So hopefully, I'm praying that I don't have any bad experiences then because it's gonna really get hectic, okay? Okay, so that's pretty much all I have to say about staying on Clark's campus. It's not bad. You're gonna be fine. If I skip over anything or if you have any additional questions, don't forget to comment below or hit me up in my DMs. And yeah, um, that's about it because I don't know what else to say. Okay. Oh, and we do have shuttles. We do have shuttles. Like I said, you do have shuttles. So if you don't have a car, it's fine. It's fine. You got shuttles to get you through to and from. If you're staying in Broadly Heritage, you can walk to Walmart. Literally, I was even walking to Walmart sometimes when I was staying in Myrna. But that was a long walk. So... But yeah, you guys, so any additional questions or anything I may have skipped over, don't don't hesitate to comment below. And also, hit me up, and I'll see you on the next one.